Morning you guys, welcome back to a new episode. We are here at Eden, staying at the Big Four in Genia um, Holiday Park. Um, and yeah, we want to welcome you to a new episode. So stay tuned to see what we get up to. Dedicated <laughs> to all the old tuna polars. To all the tuna polars of spirit, they were free. They bent their backs and bamboo poles out on the briny sea. They rushed to them like no other. As they made the blue fin tuna fly in error, never to be seen again of golden days gone by. From Newcastle to Port Lincoln, they'd follow the fish each season. Out to sea was where they'd be seeking tuna was their reason. We're at the Seaman's Memorial at Eden for all the fishermen who have lost their life. We just seen this sign saying start a rotary walk and marine reserve in the rotary park, so we thought let's go. Come on, Ginch. We got to the track and sadly it's closed. Look, Sophie said it doesn't look closed <laughs> because it's been ripped, but obviously it's broken. There's a sign up, so we're not going to do it. But look at these views anyway. Yeah, it's Magnificent. We were doing some research on where to go in Eden. Um, behind this headland here, can you see that one there? That one. Oh, that one? Right there. <laughs> Headland is Green Cape. Um, it's all national park over there. The whole headland is like three different national parks um, from what research I was doing. You can go up and have a look at that lighthouse. It's where they all used to go to look for the whales and everything like that. So it's really cool, interesting. If you don't have a dog or can leave your dog behind, um, go check that out if you're in Eden. But for us, this is as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> over there, 
Um, Eden has a ton of national parks all around it. I just Googled it to make sure. It is Mount Imlay National Park and it's the Bolowin, I'll put it on the screen, Summit. Um, they say it's a 6K return, grade five hike. So definitely not our style anyway. <laughs> But yeah, really cool. Um, if you didn't have a dog, there's lots and lots of national parks to check out. Lots of points of interest, lots of hikes, lots of summits. Um, so yeah, if you guys do want to come to Eden and you don't have a dog, there's loads and loads to do. If you do have a dog, um, there is a few walks, few beaches, things like that, which we will show you guys what we get up to. Um, so stay tuned. Rotary Park. We seen they had some barbecues, so we're gonna cook up some sausages for lunch, and then we're gonna head out and go for a walk. I think it's about a 4k walk. You would have just seen us at the Eden Lookout. Um, bit of information about whales that we didn't see any. Apparently they're still around, and we're just unlucky. But what do you do? We won eventually. Yeah. Me and your Sophie here thought we can't go to another pub this week, so. <laughs> We ended up packing the lunch, going to cook it here as Aaron said, um, packed the tongs as well, some snacks, some um, tomato sauce and some bread, as well as some other things as well that I thought if we are still out in the middle of the day um, and we're hungry, we've got snacks. So saladas, um, oranges, avocado and I've got some tomato in there too. Um, so yeah, if we get hungry throughout the day, we've always got something in the car. Usually nine out of 10 times we'll pack snacks. When we were in our old routine, we always did. Um, so now just trying to find that routine again and remembering to pack food so that we don't end up spending money on the road where we can avoid it. So yeah, this was already all in our fridge and freezer. So yeah, anyways, let's get cooking. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> Mm. Some sausages. That's um, what's cooking. That was a couple of snags on the barbie. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Aaron added it again. <laughs> Can't beat some sausages and bread. And lamb sausages. Lamb bad. sausages. Oh, how good. So just warming the bread up, giving it a bit of color. It's starting to get a bit cold, but I see there's a picnic table down in the sun, so we might snag that. Have a sit, have something to eat. Snag that. Yeah. <laughs> snag that with our snags. And then we will head on to our next spot, um, which is actually a hike or not a hike, but a walk. A, walk, a trail. Yeah. It's a actually called a trail. trail, yeah. So we'll go do that next, but we thought we may as well have something to eat before we head on. I'm just over here trying to eat my lollipop <laughs> and walk the dog. We found. We found some lollipops in the cupboard, so we decided to put them in the car so that whenever we want a sweet treat, we've got one. <laughs> so we're now at Kokora Beach. Um, I'll put the name on the screen, of course, as always, but we are here just going for a wander. We were looking for a lookout, but ended up actually finding the beach instead. So I don't know how that happened, but not a bad place to end up. Um, look at those waters, like aqua green and crystal clear it is a dog friendly beach but only on lead so you won't see miss ginger running amok with aaron today you would see him on lead let's have a look around
Well, I'm definitely in a better mood today. If you saw last week's vlog, you will know. But the sun is shining. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Complete sun on the map for the weather. And yeah, looking forward to the good weekend. Hopefully it's not too busy down here because it is a June long weekend. Um, but at the moment, obviously it's not that busy. <laughs> this is why, again, you head south for winter. Actually don't, because then it won't be quiet anymore. <laughs> so this beach also has a park behind us. Um, it has the barbecue set up just like the last one and bins, picnic tables, and also a tap so you can give your dog a drink and yeah i think it's really cool here it's also toilets and an outdoor shower um a lot of these parks down this way we've noticed have got the beach the park the picnic benches and the barbecue so it's really really cool to see it all set up like that um miss ginger and i are just going for a wander through the park well we can all guess where Aaron is right now in there what's new <laughs> at least he's in there and not out here doing it <laughs> if you know you know anyways guys we'll show you the barbecues come on Linda. let's show them the barbies got your drinking tap there so you can hook on get some water picnic table chairs barbie yeah and there's also a playground so if you have kids they can have a play and you've got these beautiful views to look at. What are you doing? A beautiful book. Anyways, guys, we're trying to toss up if we want to do the walk here or if we want to do the walk down by the lake. So the one here is about 1.8 one way and obviously back 1.8. And then there's another one that's 4Ks around the lake um, and another one that's 6Ks around the lake. So a lot of walks. We're just trying to decide which one we want to do. So we're on this walking trail. We finally decided which one we want to do. Um, 1.8K, it's a story dream time trail. Doing that now, I'm so over other people and their dogs. Now, whenever we travel with Miss Ginger, we are so strict on the rules of what is the case of a dog coming with us. So if she needs to be on a lead, she's on a lead. If she can't go there, we don't go there. So many people do not abide by this rule. We just sit in the car park here and two people have their dogs off lead. Like, how hard is it? And then our dog looks like the problem because she barks, because she's big, people freak out. But it's so frustrating. Anyway, rant over, let's enjoy this walk. You guys remember we were looking for a lookout? Well, found it. So, Budjumbo lookout. Do you want to read us this way? So let's do this and then we will do the walk afterwards. Let's go. You always said we were the good ones. Mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the best side too We have Bawawa, the killer whales and ancestors of the Katungu saltwater people are hunting Jawandas, Balan whales and like come back 
compact. The Jawandas, so whales, travel in great numbers along the coast with their calves. This season we are helping the men who ride over the waves in wooden boats hunt the Jawanda. Some of them are my Katungal family and some of them, like the man Davison, are new to this country. But they still follow me, the law of the tongue. This means us Bawawa take the tongue and the lips of the whales and the men take the rest. These men call me Charlie Ajeri, Ajeri which was my name when I was strong proud Katungal man. Now it is my Bawawa name. My Katungal kin were born into a colliding world. However, in the hunt for Jawanda, we found a temporary bond with white people, even if they did not hunt for the same reasons we did. Then the white men wanted more country and they took us to live on the places called missions. More than one they tried. Once they tried to make me leave my country. Some of my people went with the white men to Walla the Lake Aboriginal Mission. I would not go. They built me a hut and moved me to Karawa, close to here. But after a few more seasons, they took me also to Wallaga Lake. This, it is there where I would take my last human breath, becoming Bawawa. So just reading all about this um, trail and the lookout becoming Bawawa, probably butchering that. Um, from what I can interpret, I'm probably wrong, <laughs> but from what I can interpret, there was someone called Charlie, he was a proud Katungal man um, and he had the white people when they came over, they had a bond with the Aboriginal people slightly um, to help them look for the whales. So the Aborigines took the lips and the tongue um, and the white men took the rest. So they kind of worked together to do that. And then they wanted to move all the Aborigines to the Wallaga Lake Mission, which this guy Charlie didn't want to do. Um, so then he was obviously killed and became a Bawawa himself, he believes. So that is pretty cool. That's my interpretation of it anyway, but who knows? Everyone's probably going to interpret that a little bit different. Ginger, what do you reckon? I want to go for a swim. You want to go on the beach? Go for a swim? What do you reckon, Aaron? Beautiful, I want to go fishing. <laughs> you went fishing yesterday and the day before. I didn't go yesterday. Did day I? before that. Yeah, you did. No, it was pack up day. Oh, day before. See, one day, yeah, mate. Too long such a nice scenery here and I feel like it doesn't even do it justice the water is like aqua and see-through <laughs> and I feel like it's just so nice and there's no one around like just that one person who bothered me at the start but let's not talk about that again um, and over there there's a beach I think that's where the walk starts or ends either way um, so nice no one on it and the beach we were on before no one's here like one or two people and i think they're all from victoria so because we're so close to victoria um not that that's a bad thing um and yeah just really enjoying that the sun is out doing a walk getting out and about and not having huge crowds could you imagine if it was packed here oh and it's the long weekend right now guys like it's friday of the june long weekend are you joking look at this no one i can do a dance and no one knows <laughs> i know <laughs> and all the other yeah and all you guys <laughs> yeah so anyways don't have much to say just that i'm excited it's sunny and i'm excited the water's so nice and i feel like aaron will go for a swim what <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't sign up for that. I don't have a towel. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. It doesn't even look that cold. Why doesn't Sophie go for <laughs> I didn't bring swimmers. <laughs> go naked. You got boardies on. He's always got boardies. They're not boardies. They they're boardies. pants. Anyways, guys, let's continue our walk. How green that is down there. Yeah, I know. The GoPro one is No, you can't even <clears throat> see, guys. It's so nice. I've gone on about it for way too long. We need more subscribers <laughs> and more views in our video so we can get a new camera. Yeah, we need a new camera, guys. Help fund that for us. <laughs> Where's that? Is that your happy jig? I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but you can hear the waves crashing because they're right next to us whilst we're walking through the bush. So that's really nice. Sophie's scared because the bridge is moving. I don't know why she says my name. What am I going to do? <laughs> it was full wobbling. That was the creepiest thing ever. Didn't vibe that. Serenity. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, oh you want to run? On the beach, I found this little rock, perfect for skimming. I don't reckon I'll be able to do it because it's not, it's pretty wavy and not flat, but we'll see how we go, eh? Well, that definitely didn't go to plan. Ginger got in my way, my arm hit her, and the rock just went plunk. Ah, oh, well, I tried.
they're really rough. Yeah, how amazing. Yeah, so cool. GoPro does not do it justice. Little secluded beach. So tempted to go to a swim. <laughs> We're knowing we need to walk back 1.8 k's to the car. Nah. Ginger. 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 Sit, sit, sit. Feel it, stand on the rock. Well, if you fall in, I got it on camera. <laughs> I just don't want a big wave to come. No. Oh. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably about 15 degrees. Yeah, that would be nice. So you guys, we thought this episode was getting a little bit long, so ending it here. Um, stay tuned for part two next week where we will continue to explore Eden. See you guys.